Time. It keeps moving forward whether we like it or not. But what if somehow you could turn back time? That's exactly what Jane and Rogers wondered. I was exhausted. I was frustrated, tired, irritable, got sick. Every three or four months I could set my clock by it. And I also worked out a lot. I worked out, I probably ran 30 miles a week, went to the gym four days a week, and saw no results. Well, the process of aging is characterized by a decrease in certain critical hormones. Growth hormone is one of them. And this is associated with increased central body uh, accumulation of fat, uh, fatigue, loss of exercise tolerance, poor memory, mood disturbance, you feel poor. Dr. Laconi knows firsthand about the symptoms of aging. As a board-certified emergency physician since 1978, Dr. Luconi has been on the go days and nights for years. But about 15 years ago, he began noticing some of Father Time's effects. And by the time I was 45, I had a very tough time, you know, keeping up with that kind of uh, a pace. And uh, when I started researching this and I discovered this uh, concept of hormone depletion with aging, uh, I tried to treat myself and had dramatic improvement. Anti-aging medicine replaces growth hormone which is normally produced by the pituitary gland, but production decreases as we age. However, a 1990 report in the New England Journal of Medicine said that growth hormone replacement therapy can, in some cases, turn back the clock 10 or even 20 years. I'm happier. I don't get sick anymore. My skin's better. I sleep like a baby. I have energy. I have drive. I have... I'm revitalized. Growth hormone treatment reduces your cardiac risk factors by reducing your cholesterol and the bad LDL cholesterol, increases the good cholesterol, so therefore it decreases your risk for heart disease. It also increases your bone density, real important for women. So in these two aspects, it increases your general health and should relate, translate to living longer and, and healthier. So are you a candidate for growth hormone therapy? Do you experience afternoon fatigue? Have you noticed reduced muscle mass or muscle strength? Do you have increased body fat? Has your sex drive decreased? Has your doctor told you you have elevated LDL cholesterol or reduced HDL cholesterol? These are just a few of the factors that may indicate that you may be a candidate for growth hormone therapy. With just a simple blood test, one can determine if you have growth hormone deficiency. And with treatment, you can improve your health, your vitality, and your quality of life. I'm revitalized, I'm rejuvenated. If I hadn't made the first step to come in and have a consultation, I wouldn't be sitting here. I am so grateful for what it's done for me.